I'm revisiting the font options and I went to Google Fonts and on the left bottom side you can compare two fonts together. And in my opinion, I found that Roboto in black and Leto in regular together work great. At first, I want to use and create a title slide. Let's do that together. We will definitely use an image for that and I was thinking something like something like this because this gives us much freedom or something like this or a city is also great for, for those title backgrounds. I'll place that in the design. I'll make that bigger. I'll position that properly. I'll go to crop and I'll crop that to my slide. Okay, I want to make sure now that the image fits okay. We still see the sun. I'll click crop. This is the background, but I want to click on this image. I want to select color and I want to take away its color because I would like to overlay it with one of my colors. So I'll select this second option here, which is grayscale. All right. Then I go to alt to rectangle and create a rectangle above the entire design. You can see that's totally ugly now, but don't worry, we can right click, we can select format shape, we can go to fill, and we want to select a color, eyedropper, this one. I can use the transparency and see what happens. I could even select gradient, delete a few gradients and select eyedropper, the first color, click here, select eyedropper second color. This seems to look okay. Now I want to change the direction to from left to right because I wanted the colors to be like this because we have the tree and the sun on the right side. Click on the first color transparency. Click on the second color even more transparency. You can adjust that but I believe we have a really nice color scheme. Okay I click on it once again and in the format tab I make sure I have select outline no outline. Okay, perfect. Alt one, my text box. What I wanted to say here, our design. Well, that's not much, isn't it? Make it in the middle, make the text white and select our black font. I told you I will decide for the Roboto font, Roboto, but I want to make sure that from this font, where do we have it? I wanted the black one. Okay. I want it bigger. Our design. That seems interesting, but it still lacks something. So I want a smaller box on the bottom. Control C, Control V. Okay. It's always hard to select and better, better design. Control A and we can use a shortcut. Control and the left bracket key to make this smaller. Okay. I make it on the bottom and you know that the second font I wanted to use was Lato, but not black, a normal Lato font. Still I want it to be smaller and maybe the white color doesn't work so perfect now. So I'll go to the colors and I'll make it a bit gray, just so it's a bit darker. Red. Okay, this red seems to work fine. Do I really want them to be uppercase? I want to select maybe sentence case. Maybe better presentations will look a bit better. And on top, I could eventually select an icon which would complement this entire design. You know that I have so many icons that I can use them anywhere I want. So I take this rocket, I make sure it's in the right place and I make sure that I use the proper color. I have my format shape options opened so I can select just eyedropper and do we want it white? Not in particular, maybe red. And as I see it, I believe we shouldn't make a space here. We should make it like that. Okay, the red on the bottom, the icon somewhere on top of it, and we can decide if we made the colors properly. Okay, maybe the icon could be a bit bigger. The red overlaps a bit, so I'll click on that, and I'll place the red on the right side and the blue on the left side. Will that look better? Well, it definitely does. I would even maybe get rid of the red or just change the angle so we have less red. All right, 
I'll make this even more. Transparency 30%. This one. Yeah, let's leave this red. As some of the red can be here. All right. And this would be our title slide. Now, your quest, obviously, will be to create something similar in PowerPoint. A picture in the background, an overlay, and a few boxes, and eventually an icon. 